Okay, so we all know that using quotations in a presentation can be really effective. Uh, but the thing is, they can't be too long. So they're best when they're short like this. But sometimes you need more context. So for example, if we had a quotation like this, which is a little bit on the long side, but let's say we needed all of this for the context. So I read the whole quotation, but it's really just the first sentence that is important. So I want to highlight that like using a highlighter. So then I can take the audience back up here. Now let's take a look at this and then, okay, we talk about that. So this is actually kind of a highlighter effect and I'll show you how to do it. But in this case, you maybe didn't notice, but the highlighter is actually behind the text. Of course, in real life, in a book, the highlighter is sort of, you know, on top, but it isn't really necessary because you probably didn't even notice that. Um, but another problem is, um, I mean, this is okay, but you don't usually use a highlighter on dark background. It doesn't really work out as well. So we need, uh, let's say, paper, white background. Uh, but a white background can be a little bit uh, too much, especially with LED screens today. It just depends on the, in, you know, the environment. But instead of using just a white background, we could put some parchment behind it. Like this, this is just a background from motion array, but you can get them anywhere. So now it's, it looks more like paper. So if we use the highlighter in this case, uh, it just seems to make a little bit more sense, right? So this is with the highlighter on top, and this is with it underneath. Almost the same, so no one would ever notice, and it kind of looks better if it's behind it because the text pops out a little bit more. And if you want to go a little bit over the top, uh, a little bit fancy, I'm not saying this is uh, necessary, but there might be some situation where you, you would use a highlighter pen like this. Again, this is just in Kino, and at the end of this, I'll show you how I did that. But you could do something like that, but maybe in a shorter situation. So let's say it's a presentation where we're talking about studying techniques and the question of whether or not highlighting is actually effective. So you could do something like this, and it wouldn't seem uh, as gimmicky. It would seem a little bit more natural. And then we can just move on to the answer, quoting the Make It Stick book. And there we have, again, a highlighter comes in. You could do something like this. Using this example, I'll just show you how I did that. Okay, so we look at, these are all the elements that we have in the slide, and the, the line is underneath. Well, so what is this line? How did I make this kind of line? So let's take another one. And there are many ways you can do that. Uh, what I did in this case is I just took the, the line, and then let's make it yellow, and of course, much thicker. Actually, maximum in Keynote for this, it appears to be 100. So let's say, let's make it 100. And then... We will choose, you know, there are many kinds of uh, outlines you can have, but I think this one kind of feels more like a highlighter, something like this, right? This is, quite, this is larger than the one I use, but let's say I want to make it a little bit smaller or narrower, right? Something like that. And then it's a little bit too strong. You know, highlighter is a little bit translucent. So something like that. And then I can take it, you know, underneath and then wherever I want to highlight, you can do it like that. And then you can put an animation on it if you wanted to wipe, for example. So I want it to build in, and let's say I just do a wipe, usually is good, right? Like a wipe, maybe a little faster. Something like that. Okay, and now for that other one, which is a little bit more complicated, you can see that I highlighted this three lines, so three wipes, but it's not this that's so important, it's the timing of it. So we go here to build order, and you can see it looks kind of complicated, but it really isn't. I just have a pen coming in, and then I want the pen to wipe at the same time that the line is wiping, right? So at first, we just look at it here. First it appears in, the pen, the pen comes in, right? And then the name of it is 3D markers. And then the, the pen is going to move at the same time the line wipes. So the thing to do is to make sure that when this is moving, that this wipe is at the same time, right? So this says after build one. And this will be with build two. All that means, I wish it said with previous build, but that's what this is. These are going to go at the same time. That's all. And then the final thing for the first pen, the first line, is that it disappears. And then boom, reappears again. I just gave it a different name so as not to confuse myself, but it's the same file. So I called this 3D2. So 3D2 appears, and then it moves, and then it, this line wipes at the same time. Right, that's the key. They go at the same time. And then it will disappear. Right? And then for the same image, but now I call it 3D3, that's this one over here, and then it appears, it moves, and then the line will also wipe at the same time. And then when it's done, it just dissolves out. So again, to, well, we can just use the, um, the preview for that. And you can see how it goes. So it looks complicated, but it really isn't. It's just one kind of motion where the pen comes in, it moves to the right at the same time. The line underneath the text is also wiping. So I started with the wipe, and then I put the pen on after that. 
And by the way, instead of using this shape here, you could use, for example, um, a square, a rectangle. Let's say that's going to be, because let's say we, we're going to highlight something that's really wide, and, but we want it to be kind of like a highlighter. So in that case, you can do that. Remember, we're limited to 100 with the line, but with this one, we can make it as big as we want. So let's change the color right, to be like a highlighter. Okay, so that's going to be a highlighter. But then what we do is we put a border on it, uh, same color. Right? So we have a border, it's the same color, and then we choose this line. So it's kind, of, you know, it's a little bit, it's a little bit funky around the edges, kind of like a highlighter pen might be. And also, if you hold uh, Control down and choose Make Edible, not edible, ed editable. <laughs> How do you say that? You can't eat it. Well, you know what I'm trying to say. Then you could actually mess with this and kind of, you know, make it a little more rough or a little bit uh, more round on the edges. Okay, so just to keep it simple, here are the three elements broken down. So we want the, this line, which we kind of made look like a highlight marker. We want it to come in from left to right. So we go under Animate, Build In, and we'll just do a wipe. And yeah, that's fine. It's one second, maybe just a little bit faster. So that'll be okay, right? So Preview, there it is, perfect. But we want this to come at the same time to give the illusion that that marker is actually writing that down. So how do we do that? So here we add not a build in, but we do have to have it come in. So we can just say, let's have it just appear, right? And then we want it, we want it to move. So that's an action, add the effect, and we want it to move. So in this case, actually we want to put it up, up here where we're going to start. And then we want it to end right about there. It's just one action, right? We can preview that. Something like that, right? It's about one second. So all we do is we go down to build order, and then we'll see this here. And we see that up here, actually, we want this to come in first, right? So we have the text, which is already there. Then this marker will come in, and then there'll be an action, which is the line is going to wipe at the same time as the marker. It doesn't really matter in this case. They're going to come in at the same time. So yeah, in this case, let's say uh, on click, when we click it, then this one will be at the same time. So if we preview that, we can see that it worked, right? Now, if we wanted to do another animation, if we wanted this to move after that, we just click here and we add another. But this is really simple. So this is just the example. So here we go. And let's underline. Boom. That's how you do it.